Hi friends, today I'll talk about Venus's transit in Libra, the transit of planet Venus in the sign of Libra, alright, for all 12 ascendants and for all 12 moon signs. It happened on the 18th of September this month, it will last until 13th October. So Venus stays, stays in one zodiac sign for a couple of weeks. But whenever Venus will transit in Libra, you will get such results. Alright, or even if you have a Venus in Libra in your horoscope. And whenever Venus will transit in the sign of Libra, then you will get such results. Okay, so results of this transit of Venus in Libra for all 12 ascendants from Aries to Pisces and also for all 12 moon signs from Aries to Pisces. You should look at transit from your ascendant as well as from your moon sign or moon chart. So that will be the topic of discussion today. So welcome you all to this video. Do subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. Venus before beginning the discussion, Venus is the planet of wealth, prosperity. It is the planet which signifies your relationship, partnership, even marriage, your spouse. Now, that planet is very significant. Okay, Venus is also the significator of happiness. Venus is the significator of, uh, you know, even luxury, wealth, assets also. So, so this transit of Venus in a certain zodiac sign is going to be very significant for all 12 ascendants or for all 12 moon signs. So what will happen when this planet of Venus transits in Libra for Aries ascendant? Let's find out. If you're an Aries ascendant or if you have moon in Aries, okay then look at your seventh house so from your lagna chart or from your moon chart you should look at the seventh house okay so the seventh house is the house where you have the sign of libra and there venus has transited so for aries ascendants or aries moon we can say that this is a very significant period of relationship in your life okay you may encounter the love of your life during this period all right or your love life may get re-energized rejuvenated and there will be a lot of you know happiness that you will derive from your love life or from your partner. You and your partner can also travel. You know, you can go on some pleasure trip. It's possible. Now, you also definitely will attract people who are pleasant looking, who have pleasant manners, who speak pleasantly such people you may attract into your life during this period or you may get drawn to such people during this period to somebody who is very pleasant even good looking beautiful well-mannered social you may get attracted to such such people all right also it can show that you will during this period of venus's transit in libra Aries ascendant or Aries moon people you will interact very beautifully with the world at large with your life partner or business partner or with all other people in case of all other interpersonal relationships also you will maintain you know a harmonious balance you know in which uh, you know you will beautifully maintain your relationship with people you know, the relationship will be harmonious and balanced relationships. And 
from all those interpersonal relationships you can derive happiness you can also become prosperous as a result of that now in the 7th house venus has transited 7th house is also the house of your independent business or career so definitely you may derive happiness from your career or independent venture you may undertake travel okay because of your career or independent business or your independent business or career may somehow be associated with the significations of venus venus stands for beautification interior decoration designing fashion cosmetics beauty industry showbiz industry the world of cinema television venus stands for artistic and creative skills creative abilities venus can also stand for trading finance sector so you may be interested in any of such fields of work that is also possible during this period of venus's transit in libra in your 7th house so you need to really uh, you know maintain a beautiful romantic connection with your partner that will improve your relationship with your partner you may get sexually attracted to your partner even and it's good to maintain that intimate connection which is going to improve your relationship further now let's discuss what will happen when venus you know this transit of venus in libra what results taurus ascendants or taurus moon people will get so if you have a taurus in the ascendant or if you have your moon in taurus then look at venus's transit in libra because this transit will happen in your 6th house it will happen in your 6th house of daily routine okay so you must really you know love the daily work the routine work that you're engaged in so you may derive joy and happiness from your daily endeavors your daily routine work it's possible during this period you may travel you know your routine work or daily work or your job may require you to travel to different places or to interact with people it's possible so maintain proper interpersonal connections with people associated with your profession that will benefit you in the field of your work now venus is transiting in libra in your 6th house so you need to make efforts in your relationship to connect with your partner you should always keep trying make efforts never give up all right so there could be occasional conflicts with the partner differences of opinion but you should never give up you should go on trying to please your partner to maybe go on trips together you know do certain things which will make your partner happy you know i mean you need to do certain routine things in a happy way that is uh, you know if you both of you go uh, you know usually if you go out on weekends or if you celebrate festivals in a certain way then you need to maintain that you know so that routine should be maintained so uh, you have to pay attention to your partner this is the period which actually wants to tell you that you need to pay attention to your partner do not ignore them because you are so engrossed in your work there is so much in work life so uh, yeah but that doesn't mean you will ignore your partner you need to maintain work professional life and personal life balance that is very important there should be a harmonious balance 
between your work life and your personal life okay just as you need to love your work you also need to do justice to your partner you need to actually take care of your partner and you know you need to make efforts to connect with your partner then taurus ascendants or taurus moon people will get wonderful results during this period of venus's transit in libra into their 6th house you may meet someone interesting at your workplace you may get drawn to somebody at your workplace whether you are a male native or a female so you may get drawn to someone romantically at your workplace that's possible or your work may require you to travel or interact with people a lot right maintain proper interpersonal connections with people so that's all about taurus now let's move on to what will happen when you have gemini i mean if you're a gemini ascendant or if you're a gemini moon then what results venus is transit in libra will give you then this transit of venus in libra will happen in your 5th house the house of happiness joy love romance creativity so this is a wonderful period for you you know you will find the love of your life it's possible during this period of venus's transit or if you already in a relationship that relationship will get rejuvenated it will get revived and you will get romantically drawn towards your partner all right it's not that it's not just the spiritual connect but it is also that passion the desire to be with them to you know be together and to maintain that intimate connection which is also physical so you may be driven by that desire during this period of venus's transit into your 5th house of love and romance 5th house is also the house of creativity skills entertainment so you could also enhance your skills venus is wealth you may uh, you know uh, become you may gain wealth or earn money from whatever creative skills you have okay so as far as uh, you know your profession so whatever be your profession if you are into any creative field if you are an artist or you have any sort of creative skill then you may earn money from that you may earn money from speculative business from any sort of business which is connected with the use of intuition or creativity so you could be a healer independent counselor all right so any sort of business you could be into any sort of work very new need to use your creativity intuition and also knowledge that will enable you to become prosperous you will earn wealth and you will become you will gain prosperity and you will gain happiness from that sort of work also so because venus is transiting into your 5th house you can also win name fame and recognition for your work the 5th house is very crucial or somehow deeply connected to independent ventures any sort of independent venture even if you are any if you are into any field of job you need to show your creativity originality then you will get wonderful results as far as your love life is concerned you know you will derive happiness from your partner from your you know beloved you will derive a lot of happiness a lot of joy and there will be a beautiful harmonious balanced romantic relationship between you and your beloved during this period of venus's transit in libra you may get the opportunity to tie the knot or even get married or get into a committed relationship with someone you love 
maybe you're in love with somebody you may think of taking your relationship to the next level you may think of marriage to that person also yeah and uh, education fifth house is also house of knowledge and education so because of your knowledge and education you may gain wealth all right or you may derive happiness and joy from uh, education or you may have a great desire to pursue some higher studies or to go into some field of education you may have a great desire to do that that's possible you may have great love for some field of knowledge and you know your love for a certain field of study will get ignited during this period of venus's transit in libra into your fifth house your children if you have child they can also do well in life they can become prosperous they can gain wealth happiness their desires also may be fulfilled that's possible okay so uh, they may move towards prosperity in life okay they may also uh, think of relationship with somebody or s settling down with somebody that's also possible you will derive joy from your child or children it's possible during this period so yeah you will also have a desire to travel to different places during this you know period of transit of venus and libra into your fifth house okay so venus is desire venus is relationship even happiness joy so all fifth house matters can give you happiness joy okay so fifth house is part of the dharma trine the trine of duty knowledge intuition creativity moral principles so when you stick to that when you stick to your path of morality ethics when you always go on seeking knowledge in life when you remain a knowledge seeker you will gain prosperity happiness and your desires can be fulfilled during this period of venus's transit in libra into your fifth house now let's move on and for your education you may travel to a different place that is also possible or your ch child may travel to some other place that is also possible during this period of transit or you and your romantic partner may travel to a different place that is also possible may undertake travel now let's move on to what will happen to the next ascendant which is cancer ascendant cancer ascendant or cancer moon so the transit of venus in libra is happening in your fourth house so what will happen now that means your mother can become prosperous your mother can heal you it's possible or uh, you you can gain wealth from real estate ventures okay you can be a healer occultist possible you may gain happiness from your home or from domestic matters your relationship with your mother can improve so all these things can happen so uh you may also uh somehow benefit from travel and tourism industry that's possible from food industry all right and real estate i mentioned you could be a vastu consultant or healer so from all these activities you can gain wealth you can also maybe work from home and you can earn wealth from your home that's possible 
you can develop a very emotional beautiful connection uh, with people in your household in your family that's possible so venus in libra venus is now coming to your fourth house so all fourth house matters will now be influenced by the planet venus so definitely you will uh, you know uh, it it it's it can happen that you you are going to uh, you know travel to different places maybe you're making some travel plan with your family members that is also possible all right so and your uh, you know uh, your romantic partner can also become a very important member of your family it's possible or your emotional connection with your romantic partner can deepen during this period that is possible so all these things we can say when a venus is transiting into your fourth house you may derive happiness from staying at home even within the four walls of the home you know you will find joy you may also uh, gain wealth from interior decoration that's possible so yeah and uh, you know you will derive a lot of joy from all domestic matters that is possible and uh, yeah all these things we can say fourth house is part of the moksha trine ek second parda ko waise kar dijiye jaise tha ha kapde dal okay okay so fourth house is part of the moksha trine the trine of self realization liberation it is also the trine of uh, you know f- uh, compassion all right so you can gain wealth from any sort of work also which is connected to the fourth house fourth house is also connected to human resources it is connected to nursing it is also connected to health care industry because whichever profession you know is connected to uh, you know n- giving care and nourishment to others so all those professions can also be seen from the fourth house so if you are moving towards any such profession if you are uh, willing to take care of others whether as a nurse or doctor as a healer then all these professions can give you wonderful results you could also be into human resource management that's also possible so you could also be into the occult you could be into psychology so from all these ventures you can benefit during venus's transit into your fourth house you need to develop a, an emotional connection with your partner that is very important so if you develop a deep rooted emotional connection with your partner it's not just about the physicality of the relationship but it's very important to have a deep emotional bond with your partner and then you know your relationship is going to prosper it's going to flourish yeah and it's going to grow along with time now let's move on to the next uh, ascendant so if you are a leo ascendant or a your leo moon then venus will transit in libra into your third house third house is the house of younger siblings so you may definitely develop a beautiful relationship with your younger siblings you may travel to different places with your younger siblings or you yourself may undertake Uh, short distance travels for the sake of pleasure you may go on pleasure trips it's possible all right 
so yeah you know going on short distance travels can give you pleasure can give you happiness joy so you may plan certain short distance travels or trips during this period of venus's transit in libra now it's happening into your third house third house is also the house of your creative skills all sorts of skills communication skills okay so you may earn wealth from your communication skills okay you need to really enhance whatever skills you have whether it's communication skills whether it is any sort of other skill that you have you need to enhance your skills any sort of creative skills or artistic abilities you need to enhance that so that will enable you to gain wealth all right and become prosperous okay all right so yes so all these things we can say about uh, you know uh, venus is transit in libra into your third house you need to love the work that you do third house is the house of efforts you need to make efforts you need to enjoy your work you need to derive happiness from the efforts that you make third third house is the house of hard work and then your efforts will be rewarded in due course of time and you will benefit from your efforts all right so yeah all these things mm, undertaking short distance travels with your romantic partner or with your committed partner or spouse that is also seen because venus is in libra in the third house of short distance travels you may undertake all kinds of travels because venus from there will also aspect your ninth house so you may undertake travels with your partner it's possible so all these things we can say and you need to make efforts in your relationship also if you really make efforts you uh, plan some short distance uh, trip with your partner or any sort of trip with your partner make efforts to connect with your partner you know that will improve your relationship you should never give up you know you should never you know give up trying go on making efforts to connect with your partner plan some trip with your partner third house is also the house of you know uh, merry making fun laughter role playing okay so you know it's uh, it's, it's the house of uh, friendship also so it's very important to maintain a friendly relationship with your partner during this period and do fun things with your partner that will enable your relationship to grow and flourish and prosper so if you take initiative if you make efforts if you do believe in hard work if you have the courage to take initiative and work hard and make efforts you will gain from your ventures from your work whatever be the nature of your work whether you're working independently whether you're working in an organization all you have to do is you have to make efforts okay make efforts believe in hard work and you will get wonderful results now let's move on to what will happen uh, for the next ascendant which is all right uh i think i talked about leo now let's go to um, virgo ascendants so for virgo ascendants definitely this transit of venus is in libra is happening in your second house of wealth all right second house is part of the earth trine the trine of hard work the trine of being practical grounded goal oriented being analytical you know detail oriented so when you are able when this transit is happening into your second house then virgo ascendants or virgo moon you should remember that you need to tap into your intuition in order to gain material results in order to you know achieve material results or fulfill your material goals 
so for that tap into your intuition that's very important make use of your analytical skills analytical ability be structured be grounded be practical be disciplined be goal oriented be methodical in your approach to work and then you will gain wealth because venus is transiting into the house of wealth which is the second house so when you are goal oriented in your approach to work when you are, are really hard working then definitely you will end up accumulating wealth and resources all right so that's what because it is the artha trine artha trine is not just the trine of artha it is a trine which involves 2610 okay the zodiac signs 2610 that falls in the artha trine taurus virgo capricorn so this entire trine is connected so it is definitely the trine of wealth and resources but that will come from your hard work that's what you have to remember so that's what virgo ascendants they have to remember that they have to be very meticulous about their uh you know the way they work their whole approach to work they will have to be very very they will have to plan out things very well and they will have to be hard working and then virgo ascendants or virgo moon they will get wonderful results from venus's transit in libra into their second house all right yeah you may uh because of your uh relationship with somebody you may become prosperous it's possible it's possible or your partner may gain some wealth during this period that is also possible okay so all these things are also possible then uh, you may be interested during this period of transit of uh, you know venus and libra into your second house you may be interested in your family business that is also possible you may also this is the second house okay so you are venus is tra transiting in libra in your second house so you also may uh, you know uh, be interested in healing during this period okay healing others somehow healing others uh, with the help of your knowledge with the help of your uh, intuition you may want to heal others you may get drawn towards that so that's also possible and virgo ascendant or virgo moon people anyway they love they are into healing they are into you know they, they are they can be they are potential healers also so uh, so from such uh, you know an inclination towards you know healing others if you really uh, make efforts to uh, help others to reach out to others also through your work maybe if your work is connected to healing then um, or uh, or even any sort of healing it could be uh, any sort of uh, healing or counseling because second house remember second house is also the house of speech so through talk therapy as a psychologist or through the your you know uh, through the s suggestions or at, you know uh, whatever uh, suggestions you offer to them as a counselor so you can definitely do well uh, you know during this period because anyway virgo ascendant people virgo ascendant people they or uh, you know even virgo moon people they have a they have a natural ability of uh, you know healing others they have that in them so somehow if they you know try to cultivate that ability then definitely they can gain wealth from such endeavors but whatever be their work whatever be their job they really need to work hard they need to work hard in a very systematic goal oriented methodical way in a very detail oriented way so then they will actually end up accumulating wealth and resources in due course of time so that will happen for virgo ascendants or virgo moon people because this transit of venus is happening 
in their second house they may derive a lot of joy or happiness from their family that's possible okay so yeah so so all these things second house is the house of your possessions so all your prized possessions okay so second house is also connected to everything that you possess you know it could be your education your values your healing abilities so whatever you possess so whatever qualities you possess or whatever you possess no uh, even all your material possessions all your priceless possessions everything comes under the second house so from whatever you possess whatever abilities you possess including your speech and everything so your abilities your values will enable you your education your knowledge will enable you to gain wealth during this period if you are a virgo ascendant or virgo moon now let's move on to what will happen if you are a libra ascendant or libra moon then this transit of venus in libra will definitely happen in your first house the house of the self okay so that means your entire life now is you know going to be impacted by this transit of venus in libra you may come in uh, get in touch with somebody encounter somebody uh, in life with whom you may develop a romantic connection it's possible uh, somehow for some people wedding bells may ring or the marriage may get fixed that's possible Uh, you may get into a romantic uh, relationship with somebody your relationship with your partner may go to the next level and you may think of a committed relationship that is also possible you may travel also with your partner you may have travel plans uh, you may you know travel to places with your partner uh, or you yourself may undertake travel and that may give you happiness and joy okay you may also gain wealth during this period from your independent business from your work you may be able to gain wealth it's possible first house is part of the dharma trine so your knowledge your intuition your creativity will enable you to gain wealth it's possible so you have to go on uh, seeking knowledge you have to upgrade keep upgrading your knowledge you have to enhance your power of intuition or creativity and then you will see that you will be able to gain wealth okay you may gain wealth from independent business or independent ventures that is also possible during this period or whatever be your field of work if you are moving towards knowledge if you are using your power of intuition and creativity you will be able to gain knowledge and become prosperous during this period of venus's transit in libra into your first house okay getting opportunities for traveling to other places you may become you will become prosper prosperous in life also because venus is connected to prosperity also venus is connected to happiness you can derive happiness from your own life from your own uh, preoccupations you may derive happiness your life partner will play a very you know important role in your life you know your life partner can be of paramount importance to you during this period of venus's uh, transit in libra and you may start thinking about the need to be in a beautiful relationship with your partner and you will realize the importance of relationship during this period of venus's transit no that uh, realization will trigger within you and you will realize that it's very important to be in a harmonious beautiful relationship with my partner or settling down with somebody getting married to somebody is important you may also get such realizations during this period of venus's transit in libra so yeah and uh, definitely you know uh, you uh, can also get attracted to people who are good looking who are pleasant okay uh, 
to to talk to um they have a very pleasant way of speaking or uh, they have very pleasant manners they are good looking you may get attracted to such people during this period of venus's transit in libra into your first house and uh, all these things we can say uh, you also uh, will get opportunities uh, you know uh, you will get various opportunities to interact with people also your interpersonal connections can improve and you can also maybe benefit from your interpersonal relationships during this period of venus's transit in libra into your first house so now let's move on to what will happen uh, and uh, you can g- gain wealth from uh, you know venus's wealth so during this period of venus's transit in libra into your first house you can gain wealth and become prosperous in life you can gain wealth from whatever is your field of work you just need to gain knowledge you need to be dutiful accountable you need to just you know gain knowledge and you need to enhance your intuition creativity and uh, that's it so with, whether you, you you're in any field of work you could be into independent venture you could be into job you you will be able to gain wealth and become prosperous in life during this period you can also derive happiness from relationship during this period of venus's transit in libra now let's move on to what will happen for scorpio ascendants scorpio ascendants this transit of venus into libra will happen in your 12th house all right 12th house so you may uh, have a desire for if you're a scorpio ascendant or scorpio moon you may have a desire if you're a scorpio moon look at your moon chart all right so venus will transit into your 12th house if you're a scorpio ascendant also transit in the 12th house in libra so a desire for foreign settlement okay Uh, somehow being in a long distance relationship with somebody who lives abroad maybe or somebody who's from a different culture foreign culture you may get attracted to someone or you may get distanced from your loved one during this period some separation some distance may set in during this period of venus's transit in libra into your 12th house somehow your loved one or your partner may be away from you either it could be a long distance relationship or they could be away from you or uh, you and your partner can be in a very intimate relationship also because 12th house is also the house of intimate physical connection also so maybe the uh, you know intimacy that you have it can grow during this period of venus's transit in libra into your 12th house the intimacy can grow either there'll be a lot of sexual intimacy or uh, there will be some distance between you and your partner you may live apart go grow apart that can also happen god forbid so any of such possibilities could be there all right that will also depend a lot on other transits and other planetary placements but yeah these are the possibilities which are there so yeah venus is transiting into libra into your 12th house which is very significant you can gain wealth from investments if you had made certain investments you can gain wealth from there there you can gain wealth if you move into technology research investigation occult healing spiritual practices yoga meditation all of these fields can enable you to gain wealth if you move to a foreign land also and settle down there you can become prosperous and gain wealth that is also possible so yeah all these things we can say uh, about scorpio ascendants scorpio ascendants anyway you are very analytical you are at times secretive also uh, you are you know uh, you can be secretive mm, so Uh, you believe a lot in you know your personal life in guarding your secrets in you know that intimate relationship where with your partner is also something which is very sacred to you okay so during this period of venus's transit in libra in your 12th house you may have you may develop either you will develop great intimacy or separation i told you 
uh, and uh, you can also be secretive about your relationship with your partner during this period of Venus's transit in Libra into your 12th house. You may get attracted to somebody who is, uh, you know, creative, intuitive, and someone who's into occult. You may get attracted to such people also. Now let's uh, move on. Or you may get attracted to somebody who's compassionate, forgiving, kind-hearted, merciful, charitable. You may get attracted to such people. You may do a lot of charity also during this period. You should do. That will bless you. That will give you divine blessings. Okay. So you should could do some charitable work during this period. Donate uh, food, vegetarian food or vegan food to old age homes and orphanages. That's a very good idea. Uh, take care of uh, people in hospitals. You know, you can do some donations for hospitals also and so on. Now let's move on to what will happen to the next ascendant. That is the Sagittarius ascendant or Sagittarius moon. So if you are a Sagittarius ascendant or Sagittarius moon, then transit of Venus and Libra will happen in your 11th house the 11th house of gains so you may gain a lot from your profession your work you know you can gain wealth you can gain money definitely you can become prosperous uh, because of your work and because of the gains which you are uh, which you are deriving from your work hmm? you, you you'll be you know the because of the gains that you're deriving from your work or hard work you know you'll become uh, that those gains will make you very happy they'll give you satisfaction pleasure and you will become uh, you know you'll feel content so that's possible for sagittarius ascendant sagittarius ascendant or sagittarius moon people they're always goal oriented so if you've really worked hard towards your goals and you you've somehow if you you have been able to fulfill your goals then you will be able to uh, you know really reap the harvest of your hard work during this period of venus's transit in libra in your 11th house your relationship with your elder siblings can improve relationship with people in your social network can improve you may undertake travel either with your elder siblings or with people in your social network that is also possible your interpersonal connections with people will improve during this period it's possible you can gain wealth also from your social media network social media following that you have so from that uh, because of that you know your work or business may prosper and you can benefit from social media connections or from social media followers you can benefit that is also possible now venus is transiting into your 11th house so 11th house is part of the kama trikona the trine of desires material desires so you will love to you know pursue your ambition whatever be your ambition in life you will just follow your ambition you will have a great desire and whatever desires ambition wishes you have no they will get triggered during this period of venus's transit in libra where you will really want to fulfill your dream your goal your ambition in life and you know uh, you will have a lot of desire to get them fulfilled to translate your dream into reality and uh, yeah and uh, you you will so much you'll be thinking a lot and you know that will give you joy actually because it's in the 11th house so 11th house is connected to karma trikona karma means desires so you derive a lot of joy from your desires also Fr not just from the fulfillment of your desires but also from your desires themselves you derive a lot of joy okay you may develop uh, some romantic connection with somebody in your social circle that is possible some romantic connection somebody in your social circle you may get attracted to them social network social uh, media network in today's world so you may get attracted to somebody 
who belongs to your social network that is possible you may find the love of your life you know uh, so they could be they could belong to your social network all right so all these things are possible yeah, your relationship with your partner can improve flourish grow okay you can see growth and expansion in life because not just because of your interpersonal relationships but also because of your work you can see growth prosperity you can gain wealth from your endeavors and be prosperous during this period of venus's transit in libra into your 11th house now what will happen if you are a capricorn ascendant then venus will transit in libra in your okay 10th house if you're a capricorn ascendant or capricorn moon if capricorn moon look at your moon chart so whether capricorn ascendant or capricorn moon venus will transit in libra into your 10th house of profession so deriving joy from your work okay gaining wealth from work that is possible so definitely 10th house is the house of which is part of the earth trine if you are disciplined structured methodical hard working goal oriented detail oriented if you are a great planner if you have great uh, you know organizational skills managerial skills you will do very well you will gain wealth in life it is in the 10th house 10th house is the house of hard work so wealth will come because of your hard work you have to remember that this is part of the earth trine so when you work hard when you make efforts when you make endeavors when you pursue your goals you have to you know be very grounded practical methodical in your approach to work very disciplined very time bound then you will get wonderful results you have to be goal oriented and then you will see a lot of prosperity in life growth in life your work will grow because of your profession you will grow you will derive happiness you may get romantically connected to somebody who is linked to your workplace at your workplace you may find somebody attractive you may get drawn to them or you may attract a partner into your life who is somehow connected to your work or a partner who is very hard working you may attract such a partner during this period of venus is transit in libra into your 10th house you may come across somebody who's very structured methodical systematic disciplined in their work who is very hard working very goal oriented and very even materialistic in their approach to work and you may get attracted to such a person that is also possible all right so yeah so but then your love for work because 10th house is the house of work will increase very much so if your partner is uh, somehow connected to your work it's very good if your partner is very hard working then it's very good otherwise you know there is also uh, you know one thing that you may be so absorbed with work that you may also you know uh, somehow get a little distanced uh, from your partner because of your uh, one second rosy yeah okay. you can take uh, all this if you want you can take yeah so yeah so okay so what i was telling you yeah so uh, yeah you can uh, that flow of thought okay uh, so because 10th house no 10th house is after all the house of saturn we have to rem rem remember so saturn is that planet of hard work discipline structure so if your partner has similar qualities then it's very good okay you'll have great connection with your partner and uh, you know you will uh, have great chemistry okay so otherwise what it can also show that because it's a, the 10th house after all the house of saturn so you'll be if you are over absorbed in your work during this period 
then you may also feel that you are very much into your work your partner also during this period they may also if both of you are into the same field of work then it is good because then you will also get to interact with each other otherwise if your partner is also again absorbed in their own work then what will happen then okay some sort of distance also can set in during this period of venus's transit in libra into the 10th house this can happen because this is the house of work profession career hard work also but yes uh, if you are you you have to you know actually maintain your work life and a marital life balance work life and relationship life balance so you have to be responsible towards your partner because 10th house is the house of responsibility also so you need to be responsible okay uh, towards your partner so when you have a sense of responsibility towards your partner then definitely it's going to be good for the relationship so you need to be you may be busy with your work but you should be responsible towards your partner and your partner also definitely you know must have a sense of responsibility towards you then it will be good for the relationship okay so that's what now for that you have to find out again how the 10th lord is placed in your chart or even how saturn is placed and so on okay so yeah all these things we can say so if, from your work you can gain wealth any sort of work you know will enable you to gain wealth because 10th house is the house of your work your profession so whether you are into independent venture whether you whatever is your work whether you are into working for some organization so your work will enable you to gain wealth and become prosperous during this period of venus's transit in libra 10th house is connected to originally connected to capricorn okay so capricorn is a sign uh, which is actually earth sign and it is a uh, you know it is a uh, movable earth and capricorn the symbol of capricorn is the sea goat so it has somehow the Cap capricorn sign is half human a symbol is half human half beast it is a very mysterious sign in itself i mean in the 10th house you have the capricorn energy you will definitely have okay so yeah one one second friends yeah so so that means if you are able to tap into your intuition okay because uh, look at the symbol of capricorn which is originally in the 10th house it is a sea goat it is beast which is half goat and half fish or half goat and half crocodile so it has the ability to live in water and also live on land so capricorn when you have no so it's in the 10th house so 10th house is a house which is uh, you know that is why you know uh, uh, venus is coming to, into your 10th house 10th house is a house which is connected to planning any sort of planning organizational skills so you will get wonderful results in your profession if you are able to tap into your intuition whatever intuition you have you need to tap into your intuition and you need to actually you know uh, use that power of intuition to get material results so that's what your intuition your creativity your imagination use all of that to get material results that's what you have to do then you can prosper in your work or profession okay that is that's that means your analytical skills you need to enhance your analytical skills and then you will see you will get wonderful results uh, you know in the field of your work or profession enhance your intuition your analytical skills now let's move on to what will happen for aquarius ascendants 
for Aquarius ascendance Venus will transit in Libra into your okay ninth house the ninth house of fortune father okay divine blessings so your relationship with your father can improve you need to really love your father even look after your father you may undertake travel with your father you really need to improve your relationship and your relationship with your father can also definitely improve or somehow you may uh, you know interact with your father even more it's possible because venus is connected to you know even interactions so you may interact with your father more and you may you know love your father and you anyway you love your father but during this period you may you know your relationship with your father can improve this can happen all right so you may connect uh, with your father a lot during this period your father may heal you if you are going through something in life and you are disturbed then your father can heal you can guide you also that's possible or you may seek divine blessings through prayers uh, you know you may seek the grace of the di divine energies okay uh, through prayers through chanting of mantras you may seek divine blessings that is also possible during this period now venus is transiting into your ninth house uh, for aquarius ascendant so or aquarius moon also aquarius moon look at your moon chart so ninth house of travel so you may get opportunities for traveling to foreign places to distant places okay you may derive joy and happiness from travel while you are uh, on travel you may encounter some romantic partner in the course of your travel you may encounter uh, your the love of your life okay your relationship with your partner can grow there can be growth and expansion in your relationship with your partner so that also can happen your part partner can bring good luck and fortune into your life okay that's possible you can move towards higher education higher studies your partner uh, i mean you can move towards higher education uh, you may travel undertake travel because of your higher education you may get drawn towards any sort of higher studies which is connected to healing or connected to uh, occult or connected to interior decoration connected to real estate so you may be some or trading you may be interested a lot in trading so somehow you may get drawn towards these pro any of these professions connected to venus so that is also possible and you may want to acquire higher studies in these fields whether it is healing whether it is occult whether it is trading you may want to learn trading that is also possible you may want to go into the beauty industry you may want to uh, get into the cosmetics industry fashion designing interior decoration you may become fortunate if you move towards showbiz industry that is also possible so somebody may come into your life some partner and you may become fortunate in life because of their entry into your life during this period of venus's transit in libra into your ninth house ninth house is a very auspicious house it is part of the dharma trine it is the part of the trine of duty accountability ethics morality knowledge intuition creativity and ninth house is also connected to growth and expansion in life so venus will give you wonderful results if you stick to your ethics morality if you go on gaining knowledge if you enhance your power of intuition or creativity then venus will give you wonderful results uh, because it, it has come to the ninth house of dharma so just do your duty and venus will bless you during this period of venus's transit in libra into your ninth house of luck and fortune all right so undertaking foreign travels with your partner that is also possible you may travel to foreign lands with your partner during this period of venus's transit in libra into your ninth house if you go to a foreign land if you travel to a foreign land you may gain wealth or you may become prosperous that is also possible now let's uh, move on to the final transit which is venus's transit in libra into 
the eighth house for okay venus is transit in libra into the eighth house for pisces ascendance for pisces ascendance venus will transit into your eighth house eighth house of secrecy occult psychology and so on so if you're moving towards any of these fields pisces ascendant or pisces moon if you're a pisces moon look at your moon chart so pisces ascendant it will happen in your 12th house pisces ascendant or pisces moon venus is transit in libra into your 12th house so if you are moving into occult yoga meditation spiritual practices in sort of sadhana if you are moving into uh, okay um, uh, you are this is the 8th house so 8th house is connected to investigation research scientific investigation any sort of investigation in the field of medical science or surgery it is also connected to legal investigation to the field of law it is also connected to occult healing astrology etc any sort of occult practices 8th house is also connected to chartered accountancy underground mining 8th house is connected to manufacturing 8th house is connected to insurance to investments all kinds of investments even stocks and shares stock trading so 8th house is connected to all of that so if your profession is somehow connected to any of these fields then definitely you will get wonderful results okay or if you're into psych psychology psychological counseling you're a healer then also you will get wonderful results so yeah now venus is wealth it has come into the 8th house so again some loss of wealth that is also an indication so be careful 8th house is also the house of charity because because it is part of the moksha trine so be compassionate kind and merciful towards the downtrodden towards the unprivileged and then you know you'll be blessed by venus so if you're charitable be kind and merciful to people even if you can't donate uh, anything material to them it's okay but at least be kind your words no your kind words to people that can also heal people okay so be kind be compassionate be merciful be forgiving and then you'll be blessed by venus if you're able to do some charity if you're able to help out by donating something uh, meaningful to the unprivileged then it's well and good or if you are able to heal people with your knowledge that is also very good okay so all that now venus now either venus is your partner romantic partner your committed partner or even spouse so you either there will be a great intimacy with them great sexual intimacy also very deep rooted intimate connection or there could be spiritual connection with them otherwise it can also show a distance from the partner it can show long distance relationship it can show traveling to exotic locations also with your partner traveling to exotic locations with your partner is going to be very good during this period of venus's transit in libra but make sure that you know your travel and stay in that exotic location is safe and sound that's it so safety is the you know is the greatest priority but yes traveling to beautiful places with your partner that is a very good remedy during this period of venus's transit so that you can revive your relationship you know that wonderful chemistry maybe which you once shared you can revive that chemistry once again by you know going together both of you going together to some beautiful exotic location and you know you all that intimate connection that intimate physical bond also which you shared you can revive that because 8th house is the house of transformation rejuvenation restructuring and bringing about a new beautiful order also so maybe this is also a time for both of you to you know resume a new journey both of you can embark upon a new beautiful romantic journey you know explore your relationship explore yourselves explore each other by going on uh, embarking upon or going on a beautiful journey together that is also an indication you should do that and then only you know your relationship will undergo a positive transformation it's very crucial to be very intimate to each other intimately connected to each other that bond could be physical and that bond can also definitely be spiritual but intimate connection is the need of the hour 
for you and your partner during this transit of Venus in Libra into your eighth house. If intimacy, real intimacy is not there, then definitely it can also unfortunately show distance or some sort of separation. So that is why it's very important to, you know, overcome all obstacles, challenges and connect with your partner, you know, go, go together on some trip and revive your relationship. That's very important. All right. So gaining inheritance during this period, that is also possible. OK, you and your partner should invest in joint assets during this period. That's also going to be fortunate for both of you. It's OK. All these things we can say yeah, when, uh, you know, Venus is transiting in Libra in the 8th house, you may get interested and get drawn towards occult, towards mysterious things, things that are hidden, uh, even professions connected to the intelligence department, detective agencies. You could be a detective, you could be into the intelligence uh, department. So any sort of profession which involves research, investigation, secretive investigation, finding the truth, reaching, uh, you know, reaching the truth or somehow uncovering the truth which is hidden, so any profession which is connected to that is connected to 8th house. So you will get drawn towards whatever is secretive, occult, mysterious. You may also develop a great, uh, you know, love for learning psychology. So all that is possible. Okay. But what is of paramount importance is having compassion, mercy, kindness, you know, being ready to let go, letting go. You know, you should not hold on to grudge. You should not be revengeful or vindictive. Rather, you should forgive people and let go. All right. If you're able to forgive others, then only you can be compassionate towards them. Then only you can be merciful, empathetic towards them and charitable towards people. You should be during this period of Venus's transit in Libra into your eighth house with whomever you deal you should be compassionate with them whether that person is your partner life partner or anyone else you know you should be compassionate you should deal with people uh, you know in such a way you should be compassionate towards them you should deal with them with a sense of compassion with a sense of empathy so all that i wanted to say i hope i have covered all the ascendants and all the moon signs and what results you will get if venus transits in libra into a certain house in your birth chart so whenever venus will transit in libra you will get such results so do not skip this video go to your respective timestamp after watching the introduction and follow the video friends if you have not yet subscribed to the channel then do subscribe and hit the all notification bell so that you don't miss any interesting video on astrology all right it was great uh, you know talking to you see you next time and always remember friends you should believe in charity be kind-hearted okay to the poor to the downtrodden donate vegetarian food to uh, old, old age homes and orphanages and try to be a vegetarian yourself vegetarian or vegan yourself and uh, you know have compassion and kindness for animals birds and creatures as well thank you